Wakey, wakey. Good morning. Hello. Guess what day it is? Travel day. Travel day. <laughs> you are right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave you to wake up. Go wake your brother up. Wakey, wakey. Good morning. Guess what day it is? No, you're not as receptive. It's travel day. <laughs> this one is. <laughs> morning welcome back to a brand new series it's August the 18th if you're new here welcome I'm Jade and if you're returning then thanks very much for coming back to watch our new series so this is a brand new um, series it's a jam-packed one it's gonna be so busy we are doing everything this is probably the busiest trip out there that I think we've ever had as a family um, we're going for 18 days we are staying in a villa probably one of the nicest villas we've ever stayed in mum's gone all out and we are doing all of the theme parks we're doing disney universal sea world aquatica we've got discovery cove uh, the swimming with dolphins we then have a three night bahama cruise right at the end that's um, how i compromise with graham about this trip he loves cruising and he likes to relax a little bit at the end because as i'm sure many of you know these trips are pretty hectic especially on the old feet as well um, and stuff like that so it's about quarter to eight. We've got a taxi coming to take us to Gatwick at eight o'clock. Um, and we're just getting ready, really, to pack up. Kids are having some food. Nice cup of tea. Finishing off bits and bobs. You know, turning off the elect electrical switches now that the cost of living is absolutely astronomical. All the stuff that we never used to do, basically. So we're all super excited. Um, Graham, not so much because he's male and males don't really get excited like females and the kids do not as much anyway no offense to the males that do um so he's going to be like a guest appearance in this vlog because if any of you watched my previous two vlogs um i talked a lot about him but he didn't come in november i went with my mum um just because he was working and then i went by myself in march on a solo trip which obviously he didn't come to that so he's gonna be in this one so he 
He's probably he's probably not going to be in it like as much, but I am going to be pointing the camera at him, much to his dismay. But I've told him that this is a family one and I want to vlog it, so he's uh, he's going to have the camera in his face. So fingers crossed he settles into it by the end of the holiday. <laughs> so we are just getting things zipped up here. So we're taking four suitcases, four big suitcases anyway. One, two, three, four. Got a little suitcase and the all important golden bag which has everything in that is the one we cannot lose today um these two cases this is me and graham this is the kids and then as some of you might remember from my previous series i tend to take like the whole world with me really when we stay in a villa i um think that things are really expensive out there things like toilet row and kitchen row and dishwasher tablets and washing capsules and everything like that especially when we're just there for a short stay I don't want to be buying massive packs of it so I have brought my own to take so that's what that bag is mainly um got things like ponchos we've got um from previous trips big inflatables for the pools that the kids have brought before so we're taking those back you know so we don't have to buy them all again this time um water shoes toiletries. I've got a bottle of ketchup and mayo. Don't laugh. It's much cheaper here. Um, yeah, so let's get them zipped up. Let's get on the way. One inch too short, but now um, you're tall enough. I'm really excited. I forgot what it, the park is called. Sea World? Like, yeah, no. Discovery Cove. Discovery Cove. Yeah. To swim with dolphins. Yes. Yeah. And snorkeling. Is anyone excited for the cruise? Yeah, I'm really excited for um, jet skiing or whatever. It's oh called. yeah, jet skiing. I'm excited for the zip line. Nah. Yeah. Lots of things planned, haven't we? Yeah. I'm excited to see what the villa looks like. Same. It did say that there was um, an accident on the way, but um, it, I don't know, it hadn't updated, I don't think, on Google Maps because there was no traffic at all. So it took us about two hours to get here, and um, what time is it? What time like, is it? It was 10. Was it? Yeah, it's like just gone 10. Um, sorry, I've got a new camera, and the side bit is just here at the side where I'm looking right now, and I keep getting distracted. I'm trying to look down the lens, but it's really hard. Um, so we just got to the South Terminal at Gatwick. So we're flying with British Airways. Our flight's at half past two. So we've got here in really good time, which is kind of like that was, oh, it's 10.15, 10.15. So that was my plan um, so that we didn't have to rush and we can have a nice meal for lunch. And yeah, just with all the chaos that's been going on with the airports like in the last few months, I just would rather have got here early. So we're all here, we're gonna, I've checked in online. So um, with the BA app, you can do everything online and the Verifly app as well um, and then you can do the attestation forms that you need to do as well that's all it's all done on the app and it was really easy I did all of that yesterday so we're pretty much all checked in all ready to go we just need to drop the bags off at the bag drop and uh, then we're gonna head through security and go get some lunch so we're gonna drop our bags off now using the bag drop you can only do this if you've checked in online um, and you've got your boarding pass which you can also print your boarding pass on these machines before you get in the queue um, but you can also use your phone as well. Which 
बच्चे हैं So we're all checked in, bag dropped, sorry. I'm used to saying checked in, but it's, it's not that now. It's, um, we're all dropped our bags off now. It was quite a long process, I'd probably say. Like, although it's self-explanatory, it's still, sorry, took a little bit of time. But um, yeah, we're just heading up to security now. So, so far the queues have moved really quickly. So hopefully security won't be too busy and we can get through and get something to eat. So we just came through security and um, obviously a bag got pulled for a check, didn't it? Because I forgot to take out Amelia's iPad. Whoopsie daisy. Um, there's always something, isn't there? Anyway, we're just going to head through duty free now and um, head to Weatherspoon probably to see if there's a queue or not. If not, we'll probably eat there. Famous glittery floor. <laughs> Gatwick is known for. <laughs> I think they're all, I think all the airports have those now, to be honest. I don't know, I might be wrong. Might just be Gatwick, I'm but I'm not. Sure it's just Gatwick. Well, Heathrow might have it, I can't Heathrow, remember. Heathrow, yeah. Fancy Gatwick. some makeup, Jensen. There's makeup there, no. you can try. Yeah, it's not. No. There's the Asda own brand section. Yeah, you can only, you can't have branded. Can I get some sweet? Oh, I like those. Yeah. Do you like them? I, <laughs> I, I like this style. What about this style? Do you like that? They're too thick. No, I like the thicker ones. I don't. They're white. And oh, they're a bit too black, I think. Yeah, they're too black. Maybe these ones. Are these lighter? Yeah, these, are, 20s. these are lighter. Yeah, these are. Oh, you'll like these ones. Oh, yeah. yeah nice. <laughs> they didn't look the same, sorry. It's because yeah, of the light like there. They're the same, they're the same. It's different. Except they're adult ones. Oh, yeah, they're polarised. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, they look nice. Who owns C? They're nice as well. Try those. They're good as well. Yeah. I think it's this. It's way in that side down. That's what they want. Yeah. I think it's just the security thing. Oh, of course you want them. You got them last time. I got these last time and I ate all of them on the plane. <laughs> well, you're buying that. Uh, can you buy it for me? How much is it? Uh, no idea. The price didn't. It wasn't on the thingy. Quite cheap as well. Twenty percent off. This is already twenty nine quid. Quite smart. Yeah, they're nice. I like them. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. Sweeties. <laughs> Hopefully Graham hurries up and chooses a pair of sunglasses because me and the kids are very hungry. Quite like to go and get some food, although Amelia seems to have chosen her food. You're not having all of them. Um, no, you won't. Um, yeah, so I want to get round and see what the queue's like for weather spoons. There's weather spoons or Nando's. I prefer weather spoons, I think. But if the queue's really big, then we'll just head to Nando's, I think. So. Yeah, but we've got good time, so coming through, so we got to the airport about 10, waited for bag drop, dropped the bags off, and then we went through security, and um, all in all, what time is it? So we got here at 10, and it's 20 past 11 now, so but that's good, I'm just glad we got here early. The flight's at half two, so we've still got plenty of time to have a sit down meal, and have a little look around the shops, so... Yeah. What have you got for lunch, Amelia? I've not really got a big appetite and I want to eat a lot of these. How are you? So I've just gone for these. Right, nice and, he nice and healthy. Very nice healthy. and healthy. Jensen's gone for... Breakfast, because it's breakfast time. No, it's not. It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> He's gone for breakfast. That's gone for the same. 
time. And mum's gone for Eggs Benedict. We haven't got our drinks yet. We ordered on the app and the food's arrived first. And we haven't got our drinks yet, so we're just waiting for those. Um, but all together, this, these four meals, Graham had a Thatcher's, I had a gin and tonic, two kids have had a J2O each, and it came to £59, so £60 for this, um, this lunch. So something exciting that just happened, we just got a call to say that our house, so the house that we live in, we were in the process of buying and it's just completed. So today, as of right now, we are officially homeowners. So we've got some drinks and we're going to cheers. cheers. Cheers to being in debt. <laughs> it's very, very busy at Gatwick. It's like people everywhere. All the seats are taken, there's nowhere to sit. We've just parked Graham. We've just parked Dad up, haven't we? Yeah. And um, me and the kids are just having a little bit of a walk around. We had a nice lunch at Weatherspoons. Well, I say nice, it was filthy. Like, Weatherspoons is just filthy. The floors like were... Yeah, the food was all right, but the, I just mean the tables and the floors and that, they were all grubby. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have a little look around. Maybe we'll have a look in, I don't know. Is there a, um, oh, there's a JD Sports up here. Let's have a look in there. But it says, um, what time is it? Like one. Oh, it's one o'clock now, and it says that our gate information comes up at 20 past one. So we'll check back then. We've got like 20 minutes until it tells us what gate we are. It's a bit big. What do you think? <laughs> Well, we're still pretty that that's supposed to be like that. That was quite nice. <laughs> I think that one. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go to the next shop. <laughs> Behind the scenes, let's go to the next shop. Mm. Well, I'm glad we ate when we did because there seems to be queues everywhere now. Very 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 busy here at Gatwick um, I'd probably say like advice at the moment it is school holidays I know it's August but my advice would be to come with plenty of time we arrived at 10 o'clock which was four and a half hours be before our flight and then by the time we got through security it was quarter past 11 so plenty of time and I'm pleased that we did it that way Amelia's just discovered some blue tic tacs I what, didn't know that was a thing what flavor are they Intense mint. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never seen blue ones before. Me neither. Mm. So we've got some time to kill. I'm gonna go and grab a Starbucks. Somebody at work has got me a little bit addicted to these um, white chocolate frappes. I've never had a frappe until he introduced them to me and now I love them. But I only like the Starbucks ones. I don't like Costa. I tried Costa ones and don't like them. There she is. She's gonna carry us across the pond. Uh, on your left hand side, Oscar. Oh, it's only an hour and a half up into Belfast. Really? Yeah, you don't have to do that. Here we are. Okay, so we're about um, one hour into the flight now and they've just come around with some drinks and um, a snack. So I've gone for Coca-Cola. The kids didn't have Hello. a drink, but um, Amelia, Amelia had a snack. Maybe, I don't know. 
um, a bread roll, some butter, a fruit pot, and the dessert is a strawberry tart focus. Strawberry tart. Um, yeah, it doesn't look that great, but I'm not too into strawberry stuff, so that's why. And then the meal at the moment is like a tomato, cheese pasta with some broccoli. You're gonna give it a go, aren't you? No, I'll give it a go. <laughs> Even this fussy child is giving it a go. What do you think? It's not that bad, but it's a bit cold. Cold? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just a little bit. So dinner's arrived. Um, so I went for chicken, uh, the options were chicken curry or a vegetarian bean chili. This is the chicken curry. It looks all right, to be fair. Um, bread roll, this disgusting stuff, whatever that is, I won't be eating it. Strawberry tart, probably won't eat that. Not too into my strawberry stuff. And then cheese and crackers. And my butter is rock hard. So, top tip, put it under your bacon hot meal. Um, yeah, I've got wine to go with it. Some water. Graham's got the same. I'd put your butter under the chicken curry because it's rock hard. Good thing. Full of good tips, I am. I knew there was a reason I'm married to you. <laughs> What's the verdict then on the food? Curry is good. Yeah. I'm not sure about the fork. It's got very small little prongs on it. It's a bit wide. Uh, oh. Very much on the cutlery. Recyclable though. <laughs> So just whilst we've got some time on the flight, I just wanted to um, film a little bit about... I just wanted to um, say a little bit more about sort of how we booked this, what, what we're up to, plans and stuff like that, because I didn't really get much chance at the airport, because it was super busy, there was people everywhere. And although we had plenty of time, which we did, um, I was like always doing something, so I didn't really have time to stop. Um, like you do on this plane where I've got eight hours and 44 minutes to be exact. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about, so our, so this series, I want to try and um, keep a running total of how much we're spending uh, to give you guys like an idea of um, a family of two adults, two children, um, how much we are spending and how much this is kind of costing overall. So we're going for 18 days, so it's quite a long time. People tend to go for two weeks, sometimes three weeks, but we're going in between there, so two and a half weeks. Um, I'm also gonna like include things about um, the actual holiday itself to price that up, um, just so that gives people an idea of how much we've spent. Um, this is our most expensive family trip that we've had out here. Um, obviously, as the kids are getting older, they're getting more expensive. Just Jensen's a young adult now on British Airways, and, um, Amelia's still a child, but like in the theme park tickets, for example, this is going to be her last year being a child. So there's really not one, that much difference in the ticket price for that. Um, but just things like that, and obviously now they're eating bigger meals, so that they're costing more eating out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and um, price everything up. So to start off with, um, we had lunch at Weatherspoons, so I put that on um, the on the screen there as well. The flights I booked um, a package, a British Airways package. I booked um, two adults, one child and one young adult. Um, and I made that a package because when you make it a package, you're able to only pay a deposit. If you just book flights with British Airways, you have to pay for the flights outright. So I booked this back in November. Um, I didn't want to pay outright. So I made it a package by adding one night stay at a Universal Premium Hotel. Um, I've spoken about it before. It's something I wanted to do for this trip because when you stay at one of their premium hotels, you get fast, well, I think they're called express passes at Universal. You get express passes for the day that you check in and the day that you check out. So ultimately, we've got two days worth of express passes for one night stay at one of their hotels. So when I booked our flights, I then added on one night stay at a Universal Hotel. We're going to Lowe's Royal Pacific. Um, so in total, that package came to 2,400, I wanna say. I'll double check that, I'll put it on the screen anyway, what it is. Um, Expensive. Yes. Um, and then 
I also mentioned that we are hiring a car, so we did have um, just the standard SUV when I booked it back in November. As a lot of you watching, or may you may or may not know, that car hire prices shot up after the pandemic. So when we started coming out of the pandemic, a lot of car hire companies had to sell off their vehicles, um, and so now they're slowly starting to get them back. But because they didn't have many last year, sorry, I got hiccups. about that um, because they didn't have very many cars when I booked last year car hire was basically astronomical um, I had booked an SUV and it was cheaper to hire with a company that's off-site so we had to get a shuttle bus from the airport to where they're based um, I've never done that before well actually that's a lie I did it with my solo trip um, but with the family I've never done it before we've always picked up our car from Orlando airport it's much easier um, but anyway like I said it was I think I got it for £1,200 this SUV and that was off-site so considering I booked that far out um, it's quite, I've never really paid that much money for car hire before but anyway I, can, I booked one that could be cancelled for free because um, I thought to myself that closer to the time I'd have a look and see if um, it was coming in cheaper at all. So that's what I did. Closer to this um, trip, I started looking around at car hire and car hire prices have, have dramatically come down. Um, not back to what they were. I'm not even sure they will go back to what they were. But yeah, so I booked a seven-seater so we've got more space and we just don't have to worry about being cramped in the car with all the cases. So I booked that um, with Alamo, I've done the check-in online, so we're literally just going to go straight to the garage and uh, hand over our details um, of the booking and just go and choose a car and get on our way. Um, we're staying in a villa as well, so, um, so I'll put the price of the car on the screen, how much we paid for that. We're then staying in a villa, um, this is going to be probably one of the nicest villas we've ever stayed in, I've kind of gone all out. <laughs> um, Usually we stay in um, some of uh, my, my mum's friends' villas. They rent out villas out there, but um, this time I've gone like with an independent company. Um, so we have paid a lot more money for this than what we've ever paid for before, but it is a really, really modern villa, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. But I'll put the price of that villa um, on the screen as well, so you know how much that was. Um, park tickets, so as I said earlier, we're doing pretty much all of the parks. We're just not doing Bush Gardens and like Kennedy Space Centre. Um, we're not doing those, so um, yeah, all in all, for the 14-day unlimited Disney, 14-day unlimited Universal with uh, Volcano Bay, Discovery Cove tickets, which includes SeaWorld and Aquatica, they cost 3100 I'll put that on the screen as well. Um, and I also mentioned that we're doing a three-night Royal Caribbean cruise uh, at the end of the holiday down to the Bahamas. So that costs all four of us £1,200. Um, so, yeah, this is um, quite an expensive holiday, but we are doing a lot, so I expected it to cost this much. Um, we've got our spending money, so, um, so like I said, I'll be detailing like, how much we're spending on meals out. We've got a plan pretty much to eat out most every night I think there might be one night where we're not um, we've got a few breakfasts in there Denny's breakfast I got um, a couple of quick service meals in the, in the parks other than that lots of meals out um, we love steakhouses like Outback Longhorns we love Olive Garden um, where else do we like I've got an itinerary basically I've had to do an itinerary for this trip because it's so jam-packed we want to make sure that we don't miss anything out yeah, that's um, that's our trip. I just wanted to give you a little bit more of an insight into it, and I hadn't really had time um, at the airport. So yeah, we're um, got about five and a half hours to go. So it's going smoothly so far. We've only had one little bit of turbulence, but that's good to see about signs on. We've had something to eat. Now we're just relaxing. I might have a little nap because I'm pretty tired and I didn't get much sleep the last couple of nights. So yeah, I'm just going to relax for the next few hours. Two hours. 47 to go with me. We've come for a little stretch. Oh. <laughs> the kids um, afternoon tea thing, whatever you want to call it, has just arrived. It's a 
mozzarella with slow roasted tomato wrap. Kind of sounds like a pizza wrap, I think. Give it, so it's gonna give it a test taste. The second meal service of the flight has just arrived um, and it's the chicken tikka and mango chutney wrap. I didn't want it. Um, the Graham's. but we need to just go outside. What? I've already done all of this, we don't need to do this but. So I did the online check-in already with the car so we can just go out to the parking lot. It says on the instructions to just choose our car, hopefully. We've not done this before, so hopefully it goes straight forward. <laughs> this one will do, won't it? Yeah? Yeah. Like it? Yeah. We'll get this one? Yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I've got this one. I thought we'd already got one. No, we choose. Yeah, choose from this row. So, we had a bit of an issue getting into the villa. The key code that they gave me wasn't working. Um, so, I'm with three and I can use my phone out here for free, like as per my contract at home. Um, but apparently I can't make calls to US numbers. So I was trying to call the emergency number for if you have problems with getting your um, into your villa and the door code and stuff. But it wasn't connecting. So I had to, I just drove down to our, um, we had, we have a, it's like a resort that we're staying on, so we have a clubhouse. So I drove down there to see if I could use, like, somebody's phone down there, or if there was a reception or something. And uh, a really, the, the shop was just shutting up, and they let me in, and I explained the situation, and she let me use her mobile phone, which was brilliant. Managed to get through to the company, they called me back on my, my mobile phone, and yeah, they told me that apparently they updated the key code, and, well, they failed to tell me, basically. Anyway, so we're in now. But yeah, I think it's about, what time is it? Half two. Three. Half nine, it's half nine. Jensen's saying it's half two, it's obviously not half two. Yeah, it's half past nine at night. So uh, I think me and Jensen, the diehards, are gonna have a little bit of pizza from somewhere, if I can go find some. Amelia and um, Graham are pretty tired, so they're gonna hit, hit the pillow, I think. Um, I'm gonna do some unpacking. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here, I think, because I might show you the pizza. But um, I'll pop that in at the end if we do end up getting one. But thanks very much for watching. Um, tomorrow, we're going to probably have a pool morning. We'll all probably be up really early. We're going to go get some breakfast at Denny's, go do a food shop at Walmart, have some more time in the pool. And then we're going out for dinner at the Outback Steakhouse. So stay tuned for that one. And thanks very much for watching and catch you in the next one. So me and Jensen did go to Papa John, didn't we? <laughs> of course. Of course we did. So we just got back. And uh, the smallest pizza that they do is a medium, obviously. They do medium, large, and extra large. So we just got a um, medium, um, all the meats, didn't we? Oh, that's a little jalapeno. Oh, no thanks. That was good though. So we're gonna uh, quickly eat this, aren't we? And um, go to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna unpack quickly because I'm, okay, hang on a Because I'm a little bit um, OCD and I need everything to be unpacked before I go to bed. Um, so I'll do that and everyone can get some sleep. And then, yeah, we're gonna hit the pillow as well, aren't we? Yep. But yeah, anyway, thanks again for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.